Hey guys, my name is Sonali. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get one of my favorite easy updo hairstyles, this high ponytail. This hairstyle literally saves my life when I'm having a bad hair day. It's definitely my go-to hairstyle if I don't have my hair down. So if you want to see how to get this hairstyle, then keep on watching. So I am starting off with very dirty hair. It's pretty greasy up here. I think this is like third day hair and honestly that's like the perfect time to do these high ponies because when you just clean your hair you kind of want it to like be down and like look pretty but when it gets kind of greasy you just kind of want to throw it up in a ponytail and not have to worry about it. I love my high ponies honestly when I'm having a bad hair day and I'm taking pictures. It is such an easy fix for me to just throw it up in a high pony and then the pictures turn out really cute. So the first step to getting my high ponies is to create a middle part. I really like the look of like your middle part showing in your high ponytail. So as you can see my middle part is already made. You can just do this like with any like sharp edge. I usually use the end of like any tube thing like a toothpaste tube. I don't know. I just find whatever works for me and create a middle part and then we're just gonna bring it up all of our hair as you can see I have really really thick hair so we're gonna need a lot of ponytails for this when you try to comb it back try not to mess up the middle part try to comb it like down and like back and not like up and back because that's what's gonna like make this middle part disappear so down and back. And then when you have all your hair up like this, you're gonna take a brush and just kind of make that a little smoother. So down and back. Gonna do it again on this side, down and back. So you can stop here and ponytail it off and just have your high pony sit right here. But I like to make it really, really super high. So I'm just gonna dig my fingers in the back and just kind of push it up a little bit on both of the sides. I'm gonna try to get it as high as I can without messing up the middle part because as you can see, it's kind of going away, but you can still do the down and back motion on the top of your head. And don't worry about like any little bumps that you may see. You can definitely just bobby pin them later and honestly, it looks a lot cuter when it's messy. So I'm gonna ponytail this off. And like I said, I have very thick hair, so I'm going to be using at least two hair ties. And even if you have thin hair, I still recommend using at least two hair ties because it's going to stay like super high. As you can see, it just like fell down. So I'm going to need to get two hair ties. So now I'm going to put on the second one. So this is what it looks like. It's very sleek and not messy. So we're just gonna kind of pull it apart a little bit. First, I kind of just take my ponytail like this and do a little bit of like a wiggle and bring it up. And you can like move the ponytail with your thumbs. And that kind of just brings it up a little bit, but be sure to tighten it so it will stay. So what we're gonna do next is just kind of like pull the hair right here. Just kind of pull it out of that ponytail a little bit. Not not too much because we don't want to have to bobby pin like so much hair. But and this will give you like a super volumized look. And as you're doing that, if you feel you need to tighten this, you can do that as well. So kind of just go back and forth, pulling out this hair and tightening your ponytail. As you can see, it's looking a little bit more volumized, but now we're gonna make it a little bit more messy. So we're just gonna start by pulling out our little baby hairs right here and just kind of framing the face a little bit and pulling out some bangs right here. I think that pulling out these baby hairs definitely makes this look. One tip is to not tug on them super hard. You want to just like kind of run your fingers and whatever comes out comes out because you don't want super long or super big chunks of your hair to come out. So now that we have the basic ponytail in place, we're just going to curl whatever needs to be recurled. So this is the curler I use to get these super big curls and let me know if you guys want to like tutorial on just like my everyday curled hair routine. I would be happy to do that for you guys if you guys wanted that because I did get a new curler. This curler is from Bombay Hair. It is the 5-in-1 and I'm using the 32 millimeter barrel. So as you can see, some of my curls are just like not going like the right way just because I curled it down and not in the ponytail. So I'm just gonna take some pieces wherever I feel the need 
and just wrap it around and let it go. If you guys have layers like I do, then you might have some of these little things hanging up. So what I usually do is just put my curler and just kind of make sure they fall flat like down on my ponytail. So for my baby hairs, I just like to curl them very slightly. So I'll wrap it around it, maybe just give it a little bend, not even a curl, and then let go and then just kind of brush it down. So that way there's not really a curl in it. It just like kind of goes into my face. So to finish off this hairstyle, I'm just gonna do one quick little tug at the top, just kind of tighten it a little bit. And if your bump right here isn't standing up and you wanna volumize it a little bit more, you can definitely spray some hairspray right underneath here and then just kind of tease it up a little bit and that should make it stay. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and definitely be sure to Snapchat me any pictures if you recreate this hairstyle and let me know any other hairstyles that you want me to create on my channel. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!